Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Shauna and today I'll be doing a review on the new Huda Beauty um, Luminous uh, foundation and I'll also be giving a review on the new Huda Beauty the micro shade uh, brow pencils um, so if you would like to see what my thoughts are on these products then continue watching as I am filming on a new camera so I'm still trying to get used to the lens I can see what I'm doing so it's if you see me looking all over the place that's because I'm still trying to get used to this new Canon I did by the M50. Without further ado, let's get into this look. So I wanted to try out the new Huda Beauty. This is um, the new Huda Beauty pencil. This is the micro shade pencil and this one is in black brown which is number seven. So I am going to start off by doing my brows today and then I will move on to the foundation. That way I could go ahead and give my review on the foundation. So I'm just going to do light strokes to go ahead and fill in my brows. I don't really have like the thin brows as you would usually see people do like um, where you could really have that micro shade look so it's kind of like I'm filling in my brows as I would usually do using um, my MAC pencil or benefit pencil I do like it because it's very thin um, so you're really able to get in there and um, fill in your brows so I do like that part so as you can see, this side is not done and this side is filled in using, using the brow pencil. So I'm just going to do this side real quick. I hope my lighting isn't too bright for you guys. I'm trying out another light as well, so this video is a tester video. I'm trying out some new things for you guys. I am also getting ready to celebrate my 34th birthday, so I will be attempting to vlog um, using another camera. So I am going to Cancun, Mexico. I cannot wait. So this is the final brow. Um, I'm just going to clean it up with some concealer. So I'm using the MAC NC42. I am just going to clean up my brows. That I have my brows complete. As you can see, they are fully filled in. I am going to use the Tatcha Silk Canvas Primer, which is this one. And I'm going to prime my face. to use the Huda Beauty. This one is in gingerbread. I think this one is a little bit too light for me. Um, 
So what I'm going to do is mix it. I'm actually just going to take a little bit of the Studio Finish. They no longer sell this one, but the Select Cover-Up from Matt. Now this is me swatching. Now, this isn't my first time using this foundation. I did give it a shot um, over the weekend or when I first bought it. And you guys, this coverage, this coverage is there. The coverage is definitely there. I don't know how illuminating this really is because to me it still gives like a matte um, finish. As you can see, this is definitely giving the coverage, honey, okay? And I didn't even use that much. I literally used like maybe a pump and a half. Um, really, all you probably need is like a pump. Um, so... Next, I am going to use um, Dose of Colors. I've been trying out this concealer. This one is in 22, so I'm gonna I'm going to mix it. I just put a little bit of 22, and then um, I'm going to mix it with a little bit lighter. So I'm going to use uh, 20. And then I am going to blend that out. And I actually, this is also a new product that I'm trying. And um, I will say the Dose of Colors, it gives coverage. It's not like, it's not mattifying like, um, like the Tarte Shape Tape. So I will say it is a pretty decent concealer. You don't have to worry about it like drying out underneath your eyes and it gives pretty good coverage. So now I am going to bronze up my skin and I am going to use the Huda Beauty. This one is in the Tantor Medium. This is the Shade Medium. And I'm just going to kind of bronze my skin a little bit. So I'm contouring with the Tantor. This one is in Medium. I just want to kind of bronze my skin a little bit. Come out, pattern in everything, and then I'm just going to use it down my nose. Okay.
Next, I am just going to set underneath my eyes with um, the Huda Beauty setting powder, and this one is in Blondie. This is like my go-to setting powder. So again, I'm just going to press underneath my eyes again. Now I'm just setting underneath my eyes with the powder and my nose. And then now just to set everything, um, I am going to use the Fenty Beauty Powder, and this one is in 385. And I'm just going to use some of that just to set the rest of my face. I'm not using much because the Fenty Powder is a powder foundation, so. I definitely do not want to use too, too much. Um, and then next I am using the Fenty Beauty Coco Naughty Bronzer. This is definitely my go-to bronzer. Between this and the Anastasia Beverly Hills Bronzer um, and Mahogany, these are definitely my go-to bronzers. Okay, next I'm just going to do a little bit of blush. Um, and for blush, I am going to use the e.l.f. blush palette. This one is dark. And I'm going to use this shade right here. These two bottom shades, I'm just going to mix them. Um, this is also my go-to uh, blush palette. All right, and then I am going to add some highlighter, and the highlighter that I'm using is going to be by Be Bella Cosmetics. Actually, you know what? I haven't used my Fenty one in a minute, so I am going to use the Fenty Glow in the holiday set. And I'm just going to use that as my highlighter here. Alright, so that's it for the face. Now I am going to move into my eyes. Um, I am going out to dinner tonight, so... I am just going to use my eye base. This is um, Rumor 2 from P. Louise. This is also one of my go-tos. So I'm just patting that all over my lid. I'm just going to kind of blend that out a little bit. Alright, as far as a crease color, there's a little bit of the Jaclyn Hill palette by Morphe. I'm just using a tan shade. I'm putting that in my crease first. I always like to use like a transition shade, something like that. 
first before I go in with any type of um, before I go in with any type of color and that's just something that I personally like to do um, you know to each his own but I like to do that just so that I have some type of base already down Alright, next I'm going to take um going to take a mixture of these two right here and I'm gonna put that in my crease next. Um basically I'm just like building Building the color. My 217 brush, and now I'm going to use the Huda Beauty. This one is the Mauve Obsession palette. I am wearing like a little um, wine color tonight, so I'm just going to use a little bit of this darker color here. I'm just tapping this on the outer part of my eye. And kind of bringing that a little bit into the crease. And then I'm just going to blend that out. All right, and then to top this off, I am going to use um, the lighter pink. I did spray my brush with a little Fix Plus, and I am going to use this lighter tone here. I may mix the two, so I'm going to use probably these two shades. So I'm going to go in with the more pink shade first. Just patting that in. Then I'm gonna use a lighter shade in the inner part of my eye. Now spray my brush again. I think I used the wrong side. So now I'm just going to blend that out. I am going to line my eyes with the Morphe pencil. This one is in Lights Out. Um, and then next, I am going to line my eye. I'm using the um, Inglot 77 liner. When I tell you this liner does not go anywhere, it really doesn't. Um, to me, it's like the best black liner that you could use. So I am going to take some of that. I am going to use the Hot Naughty. Um, this one is the Two Black Mascara.
All right, guys, so sorry. I went ahead and put my lashes off camera. Um, so now I'm just going to use my finishing spray. I'm going to use the Milk um, Hydro, what is this, Hydro Refresh Spray. And then next I am going to use my KKW um, lip liner. This one is in 2.5. I honestly really do like this lip liner. I just don't like when the, the pencil itself starts coming out when you shake it down. That's the only downside to this lip pencil. But I love the creaminess. I love how it glides on. Um, and then as far as my lip color, I am going to do. Maybe I'll just wear a cork. So I'm going to wear a cork. Actually, no. Then do more paint. Um, I'm going to use ColourPop Quickie. And then as a gloss, I am going to use the Fenty Beauty. This is Baby Brute. I love my Fenty uh, gloss bombs or real gloss. Now that we got the completed look. Alright guys, so my final thoughts on this foundation. So remember, I use this foundation, the Huda Beauty foundation, and I use the Huda Beauty micro shade brow pencil. This was my first time using the Huda Beauty foundation, whether it's the Luminous or the um, regular foundation, the matte one. Honestly, I don't think this is too luminous. I think it's probably, you know, maybe it's not as matte as the first one, but I don't really know because I don't own the first one. Um, but I will say this foundation is definitely full coverage. Like, I love the fact that it gives such a flawless finish. The only thing with her foundations is that um, the shadings are a little bit funky. And I don't think she has a wide variety of shades like Fenty does um, or another brand. So I think as far as shading, um, she could probably expand on that. But as far as the coverage and the foundation itself, I love it. The only thing is, is that I had to mix it because um, I think I might have gotten the wrong shade. I'm not sure if the next shade up is going to be too dark where I have to mix my foundations. I do find that I have to mix my foundations a lot with different brands. Um, I can't just buy one foundation. So this one would probably be more so of a winter shade, but... I'll probably still use it and just mix um, with a darker foundation for now. Um, also, so my review on that is definitely you must try it. As far as the luminous factor, I don't really think it's too luminous. I mean, I'll wear it and see if, you know, I get a little shiny or get a little luminous glow from it. But from now, for right now, it's giving me matte vibes. Um... As far as the Dose of Colors um, concealers that I use, I do like the Meet Your Hue uh, concealers. They're very uh, creamy. They're not mattifying. So if anything, I would say that's more of a satin finish. Um, it's definitely medium to full coverage. And um, I like it. Like It's definitely a good concealer to buy. It's something that you could use in place of the Tarte Shape Tape. It's not as drying. 
Um, and then next is the Huda Beauty brow pencil. Um, I would say if you really have thin brows, then this would probably be the pencil for you. Um, if you really want to get into certain places and really define your brows, then definitely the micro shader will do that. Um, the shade that I got is pretty, I think it's a pretty good shade. I think if I went a shade lighter, it might be too light. Um, so I think this one is definitely a good, um, shade. I do like this pencil. Um, you know, I wish that my brows were more of that thinner look where you could really see that micro shade strokes like of the hairs. I already have hairs and they're pretty dark, so it's not, it doesn't really give you that effect that they advertise, but I do like the brow pencil. So if you are looking for something new to try, I would definitely say try it out. Um, there's nothing wrong with having a skinny pencil. I definitely like having the skinny brow pencil just because it helps define your brows a little bit more. So that completes my review. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. I know it's been a little minute um, since I've been on here, but um, be sure to subscribe because I'm hoping to have like a vlog of my Mexico trip up once I could once I get back. Um, so definitely subscribe, follow me on Instagram at Shonda the MUA and at SLR Beauty underscore. Bye guys.